everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another weekly food haul. So this week we have done our weekly shop in Tesco and then at the end of this video I'm going to go through our meal plan as well. So do make sure that you keep watching to see all of that. And I'm going to say I have actually filmed this already and then there was an error I've just realised. So I'm having to refilm it all over again so there are a couple of things already opened. So apologies for that but hopefully it won't ruin the video or anything but yes I really hope that you enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more because I'm posting a grocery haul every single Friday so yes I would love for you to hit subscribe and let's go on and I'll show you everything that we've got in Tesco this week so starting off at this end we have some breakfast cereals so we've bought this make of porridge oats which they're just our favourite. I think I said in my last haul we bought some of Tesco's own make of porridge and they just, I don't know why, it's only oats but it just didn't taste as nice. So we have bought another bag of those. We have got some Weetabix there. Our next shop is at Waitrose and their Weetabix are more expensive so we didn't actually need these yet but we thought we would just get them from Tesco whilst we shop there. So they're really good. And then we've also got a big box of cornflakes too. And a couple of kind of more kitcheny bits and yeah we've got some of these wipes which are biodegradable which is really good usually we get the non-fragrance one but it's just to wipe my son's hands um it's just kind of like easier to use wipes sometimes we might use a uh, like kitchen roll or muslin or something but yeah wipes are always useful as i'm sure you'll know if you are a mum too and uh, we've got a big kitchen roll there we've got some of tesco's washing up liquid and also some dishwasher tablets, a massive pack there. Now bread, as you can see we have actually opened this, as I said uh, this shop came the other day and I had to refilm this so yeah we did buy this loaf of bread and we have got more bread in the freezer too because we do go through a lot of bread. And then fruit and veg wise we've got some bananas, we've got some blackberries and some raspberries too, really enjoying having berries, they're probably one of my favourite fruits. We've got some pears there which are for my son Arthur and also some apples and we've got some grapes too. Then vegetables we've got a pack of sweet potatoes and lots of normal potatoes because again we do eat a lot of potatoes when we make our chips and wedges. We are making our own tomato soup so we haven't made tomato soup before so we're going to give it a go when we needed some celery for that so that is what that's for. We've got one broccoli We've got two red onions, some tomatoes there, which are for me, I might have that. If I have beans on toast, I'll have a bit of tomato, or if I was having something on toast, I can't think, I don't know, like I've had a panini before and I've had that inside, or whatever. It's just useful to have some tomatoes and on my pizza. We've got some carrots there, and is that it? It seems like that's a bit short, but yeah, I was expecting more of them, but that is it. That is all of our fruit and veg. And then we have a multi-pack of baked crisps. And my husband found these, some lentil curl crisps, which if you have watched one of my Aldi hauls, I usually buy lentil crisps in Aldi and they're really, really good. So we found these, so we thought we would give them a try and hopefully they are just as good. We've bought some rice cakes there, Marmite, Marmite rice cakes, which have been opened. And we do enjoy those. And then some more sweet treats. We have got these cubes which are really, really good. They're only a pound for this big bag. They have actually been opened. And I did find these in Asda first ages ago, and then we discovered that Tesco do them too. So they are really, really tasty. I would definitely recommend if you want a nice little sweet treat. We have got three packs of buttons. We've got two bites and a milk there. I think it was like three, four, just over a pound or something. So really cheap. Pack of bourbons some shortbread fingers and some Viennese fingers too. So we just needed to stock up on our biscuits. So yeah, we've got a nice selection there. We've also got some oat cakes there and we have been making our own little like snack balls, which you may have heard me probably talking about before. So we just needed some more sultanas to make those. And then kind of coming on to some more like cupboard things, we have some brown sauce, which you needed some more of and also some tea bags. We have three cans of chopped tomatoes, three cans of baked beans and one passata too. We always tend to buy this every week because we just go through, especially passata and tomatoes. As I said, we have that with like pasta, we have fajitas, we just seem to go through them loads. So we've always got a lot of them in the cupboard. 
And then fridge and freezer things. We have got 12 eggs this week. We've got a whole milk. There is also a semi skim milk, which um, is in the fridge still. So yeah, we've got some milk there. I have rice milk and also we have two coconut milks there. And this one is really good. And I actually have that in my tea and it does taste like fine. <laughs> it tastes pretty good in tea. We've got some butter there. We did want the dairy free one, but they didn't have it. So we just got the buttery flora. We've got two vegan corn pasties and these are really, really nice. They're really tasty. I think I actually prefer them to like corn's own version of the pasties. Yeah, they're really tasty. And we've got some sausage rolls here. Tesco's own make like vegetarian ones. Just for a snack, we just thought we'd give them a whirl. We've got some of this mince here, which we've had this make before, but not this mince. So I'm intrigued to see what it tastes like. It looks like proper mince. It looks a bit, yeah, it doesn't look very appetizing like that, does it? But hopefully it tastes nice. So we'll give that a go. And then we've got some natural yogurt there for my husband. And then I've also got this Ultra. It's plain with coconut. So I assume, I assume it means it's got maybe like a slight subtle hint of coconut or something. I've not tried it before, so I thought I would give that a go this week. We have some of cauldron sausages, which we do tend to buy quite often cauldron. We do quite enjoy those. I've got these, which are vegetarian fish cakes, and they didn't have them last week, so I'm really happy that they had them this time. And they're just like, you know, the fish cakes that you get in a chip shop where they're kind of quite like mushy, if you know what I mean. They're not like the texture of fish. That is exactly what these are like. So they're really, really good. Um, I really do enjoy those. So yes, I was pleased that they had them. My husband needed some more fish fingers just for the freezer. We don't, he doesn't tend to eat them that often, but it's just good just to have them. And he probably will have them this week. And then we've got some peas and we also have more ice cream. We made apple crumble last week and used up all the ice cream. So we thought we would just buy some more because we might be making some sort of brownies or something delicious this week so we thought we would just top up on ice cream so there you go that is everything that we have got in tesco this week so i'm just going to go through our meal plan now so the first thing that we are going to have is some spaghetti bolognese and we don't actually have that that often we usually just have like the normal pasta pieces but we do have some spaghetti in our cupboard so we thought that we would give that a go this week and we'll probably have that with the soy min mince and we have that with red onion chopped tomatoes and passata too Another meal I'm really looking forward to actually is having those corn pasties. I really do enjoy having that. And we'll have that with normal potato and sweet potato mash, broccoli, peas and carrots as well. So I really enjoy that meal and we have that with gravy. Then for another meal, we're going to have pizza. So we always have pizza on a Friday. I know that I probably say this every single week to you. Um, we do actually have some pizza dough left. So we are going to make that up and I'll just put like passata on the top and cheese and some tomato as well. We probably will have that with some sweet potato wedges this week and then we'll also have some beans. The next meal for me is going to be fish cakes and then for my husband it will be the fish fingers. Now we'll either have that with like boiled potatoes or mash or some chips. It kind of depends how we feel and then also what we've had the other days if that makes sense because I should say I don't, I know I'm not saying the days of the week because we're not that strict. As I said, usually we have pizza every Friday, but for the other meals, we kind of just see what we fancy, but this is kind of just a rough guide to what we'll be having over the week. So yeah, the next meal is gonna be the fish meal, and we'll probably have that with peas or beans, depending on if we have potato or chips, if that makes sense. Then we are going to make a shepherd's pie. So we haven't made a shepherd's pie for a couple of weeks. So we'll just make that with mince, I think. We have got lentils too, so we kind of chop and change between those two sometimes and we'll have chopped tomatoes in there. We've got either some gravy or we have got some stock cubes from last week, I think, and obviously just like the potato and cheese on top. And I always have mine with extra gravy. Gravy. So once it's cooked, we'll have peas on the side and then I'm also gonna have extra gravy as well, just cause I like things to have a lot of sauce on it. So you really need to know that much, but there we go. And then for another meal, we're gonna have something like eggs, beans, chips with we have got some corn ham in the fridge, I think, left. So it's kind of almost a bit like a big breakfast because we also have that with bread and butter or toast as well. But that's kind of a nice treat meal. It's fairly easy to do, fairly quick and simple, but it's really, really tasty. 
And then the final meal we're going to have this week is paella. So we didn't have that last week. And we have that, obviously that's with rice, which we have in our cupboard. We'll have that with the cauldron sausages, fried onions, broccoli and peas. Sometimes we do have a pepper, but we don't tend to buy a pepper every week. But I have said to my husband, maybe we could buy it next week, uh, just to make sure that we've got it, either that or fajitas. But yes, that is our meal plan. So I really hope that you enjoyed hearing that. I have filmed a video showing you meals of the week, which will probably be coming out, I think, after this video. So do make sure that you stay tuned if you would like to find that video. And yeah, hopefully you might find it interesting or give you some sort of inspiration for your meal plan. But I really hope that you enjoyed this video, everyone. And do make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And then I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.